Brexit Britain today is a mix of good and bad. Britain has been doing quite well in terms of growth, but uh, there are concerns. The first concern is productivity, very weak productivity, which will of course uh, affect the ability of Britain to grow in the long term. And uh, fragility is uh, in terms of uh, current account uh, deficit. Britain is uh, very much dependent uh, on the kindest of strangers, as uh, Governor Carney said. Well, uh, what can Britain lose and what can the government do to counter these weaknesses? Uh, I think Britain is going in the wrong direction because entering uh, negotiations now uh, with the EU uh, will uh, actually emphasize some of the negative. Uh, first of all, uh, there will be a negative shock on trade and uh, you know with effect uh, on uh, you know labor mobility capital mobility and uh, generally you know trade so that will affect the ability of britain to specialize so economists believe that specializations is a big driver of productivity of course the migration is important the uk will continue to need migrants i think that on migration there is a bit of confusion in the public debate because what Britain wants is control of migration. It doesn't want, uh, you know, just stop migration. But, uh, you know, a lot of the kind of votes for Brexit is about stopping immigration. And I think they're not going to get it. You know, when uh, some of these guys are talking about the terms, it looks very much like a couple which is about to enter divorce negotiations. Nobody wants a bad deal but bad things happen in most cases. And I think there is some amount of goodwill uh, on both sides, but uh, I think it's going to be nasty. And nobody believes that the negotiation will be over in uh, two years. Uh, it's too complex, so most people expect that there will be a transitional arrangement. So that means that there will be a prolonged uh, process, uh, and of course uncertainty will be with us for the next few years, and this is definitely not a good environment for investment.